you had a wonderful Father's Day weekend. To me, it's it's going to be LeBron weighing whether, you know, is it the money and staying in Akron, uh, watching the kids go to St. V's, or is it going to be his legacy of assuring himself that every single year he's going to go back to the finals and try to break Bill Russell's record? He, Regardless of whether he wins or loses in the NBA championship, that that's what I feel he's got to weigh. Oh, there's a lot of guys. It's a matter of how they're going to go do it. There's a lot of guys I'd like to see, but that, <laughs> you know, to pick them off trees is not the way it works, Marshall. The Cavaliers right. are, the Cavaliers are, if they pull it off, I, as I said last week on the show, I, I will be nonstop complimenting Altman for pulling off what nobody in the country thinks they can do, and that's bring another superstar here to Cleveland to keep LeBron James on this team. You know, the other we were talking, Andy Jardy, who does our editing, I think that's what he yes, does. Yes, he does. Okay. That's the editing. We finally uh, figured it out. We finally figured it out. But uh, Andy and I were talking before we started the show if um, you could make a case for Bauer making the All-Star team. And, you know, uh, his one-loss record is now six and five. But um, so there's a lot more impressive one-loss records. But his ERA is right there. My goodness, his ERA after last night's game is 2.50. As I've been preaching here on the show, Marshall, to me, the back end of the bullpen, and, and I love what I'm seeing from Ramirez. I think the Oliver Perez is a very sharp pickup. Miller, from all from all reports, is close, uh, getting closer every day. And why rush him? We're running away with the division. We're going to run away with it even more so. And uh, we want him fresh for the playoffs. That's the big point. But I still think to win the pennant, unless Ramirez turns out to be, you know, a, a Batances of New York or, you know, a, a, a somebody like that, if he, a Robertson of New York, if he turns out to be like that, then, you know, because he's been a journeyman, he's been around the majors for quite a few years. But regardless, getting another back-end power arm to me can win the pennant and possibly the World Series for the Indians. Otherwise, I have doubts. At Script Ohio on Twitter, Tyrod Taylor takes the Browns to seven and nine. What happens then in the offseason with the quarterback? I say sign him. I say give him a two-year extension, give him some nice cash, and keep him. There's no rush to get Mayfield in there, believe me. Let's not regress if they're wrong on Mayfield. They could very easily be wrong on Mayfield. As you know, on paper, I like what they did, with the exception of Mayfield. And I hope I'm wrong. I hope he turns out to be a Hall of Famer. But if they're wrong and they're rushing him, that's catastrophe again, and it'll set the franchise back. I don't care how much much they've improved at the other positions on both sides of the ball. Hey, I like that suit. <laughs> can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you loud and clear. Oh, okay. I'm speechless. Hey, how'd you? I like this one because Steve Drace asks, do you think people are actually playing golf in this heat? Uh, yes, there's no question <laughs> they are, including this idiot right here. <laughs> Timothy Finley says, you mean to tell me we have no capable arms in the minors, even converting a minor league starter into a bullpen help? Move on. <laughs> if we did, don't you think we would have had them up I here like already? For questions. God's sakes, Obviously. come on. Is there any chance the Indians could get a Raldis Chapman, you think? <laughs> I'm just asking the whatever Wednesday question. Is his name Bobby? His name is Bobby Johnson. Get some help, Bobby. <laughs> I'm concerned about you. You don't think that was just an easy fix that we could just I, get uh, Araldis? I'm, uh, I'm sincerely worried. <laughs> okay, moving on. Um, Corey Joe. You had any close calls with lightning on the golf course? Never. Never. Never had, uh, uh thank God. Thank yeah, God. Right? But, uh, I got hit with a golf ball once, and it was in Tucson when the Indians were training in Tucson. And I was driving down the middle of a fairway after a monstrous drive, like I'm known for. With the epic driver. <clears throat> no, no epics back then. What are you Those were persimmons. Oh, yes. And I didn't, I had no clue. And the ball came down, and follow me now, the ball came down and down and down, and you know where I'm pointing? And right the there on my upper thigh and real close to being a major, major industry, uh, injury, I had a mark like that. 
Robert Vaughn, last one. Robert Vaughn? Robert Vaughn. He's dead, isn't he? Well, I guess not, because he's writing it on Facebook. So. Great actor. Great actor. <laughs> and from Uncle.